Well, Teresa, this is the aftermath of getting in that snow ban. Alcott got yet another big dose of lake effect this morning, causing the plows in town to be busy and this entire area to be covered with white. But before the pounds, the snow started pounding here, it made a stop in Springville. For the third morning in a row, Springville drivers had a lot of flurries and a lot of slush. And Route 19 and uh, Interstate 219, rather, and Route 39. Plows did get an early start at around 2 this morning, and drivers say despite the flurries we saw, it was a welcome relief from the conditions earlier in the week when roads were even more slick and snow covered. About 75 miles north, the snow arrived in Alcott at about 9 this morning. Heavy flurries, wind gusts, and bitter temperatures shook this little beach community and served as a reminder that even with our mild fall, this is still western New York. Resident Robert Rosenbeck spent this afternoon in cleanup mode. He says Lake Effect has been rearing its head for the past day or two. We had a, a blast of a storm yesterday. We probably got about, uh, I would say, a foot to a foot and a half with high winds. And it's been cold. <laughs> we had a nice little break, so I guess it's our time now, as long as it's not as bad as last year, so... Well, there's no frozen cars out here, at least not yet, but Olcott Beach, the waves coming up on shore are creating a lot of thick and slippery ice, so I would not recommend if you're in this area venturing down here. We did speak to another Olcott resident this morning, and he said he's actually relieved to see the snow. He said given how mild December was and November was, it's finally time for this area to start feeling like Western New York. He said, like it or not, this is what the weather is like here. Reporting live in Olcott, Jen Shantz, News 4 at noon.